Representative Albright, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Can you begin by sharing some information about your background? For about the last 25 years, I've been in the investment advisory business, acting as a fiduciary and trustee uh, consultant for retirement programs, uh, both uh, for-profit and non-profit, as well as for strategic planning for uh, business startups. And can you tell us some information about your personal life? Uh, I'm married for 30 years, three children. Uh, my son is uh, active duty uh, United States Marine, and my oldest daughter is a uh, paramedic, and my youngest is about to enter the collegiate uh, field, uh, just graduating this, this spring from high school. What are your priorities for the upcoming legislative session? We have some unfinished business to attend to uh, left over from the last session, principally a transportation bill, uh, a tax bill, and uh, because it is the second year of the biennium, we also have a bonding year and a bonding bill that uh, we need to attend to. Those, those will be my priorities. If you could name the single biggest challenge facing Minnesota, what would you say that is? I think an understanding of just how costly um, government is. I think in some cases uh, the, the relevance to day-to-day -day life and wanting to make sure that government uh, works for uh, the individuals uh, is overshadowed by the zeal for um, reducing government. While I appreciate both constraints, it's very, very important to realize that um, the individual is is the priority as opposed to the government. So keeping that in check is is really a, a difficult dilemma for a lot of people to get their hands around. Who inspires you and what do you find inspirational about him or her? You know, I'm reminded of the passing of Nancy Reagan yesterday. And I uh, my first presidential election that I participated in was uh, 1980 when uh, then candidate Ronald Reagan, the former governor of California, ran for president. And I, I look to him and, and his uh, administration and his guidance and vision for uh, putting a purpose out there and a, a vision that people can be captivated by uh, and rally to is really an inspiration for how I would perceive good government uh, and, and, a, and a rallying cry for everyone, both on the, on the uh, Democrat side and the Republican side of the aisle to really rally to. Representative Albright, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.